Uh, uh, Bruce Newman is his name. Yeah. Warm up, huh, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great, Bruce. Thanks. Sorry I didn't get here earlier. You can't do everything, and no, you can't. Something conflicting. But it's great to be here on Chapel Hill. It's um, always been a really special place for me. To, I mean, one wouldn't know each other if it wasn't for this hill, and I wouldn't be who or what, better or worse than I am right now because of this place. I always like coming up here at sunrise or really any time during the day because you stand up here and you look beyond the, the curvature of the earth, past the myriad of planets and stars expanding and contracting just beyond the dust on my eyeglasses. <laughs> I find myself calling out to God himself. I say, God, I matter. And God responded. He said, why, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> and that's when I realized that I really am one with God. But once you become one with God, you then have to pray to yourself? <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of rebel that on those rare moments when I find myself in charge of something, I feel the need to question my own authority. <laughs> I find myself looking in the mirror saying, don't let me tell me what to do. <laughs> and that's when it occurred to me that maybe that's what the Bible meant that we were all created in God's image, that he was actually just looking in the mirror and therefore did it all backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he made each and every one of us different, except for Brian Q. Tien. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's all one big merry-go-round. Our lives, the seasons, doing this in October, <laughs> they go round, we wave to our parents, and they wave back, and then they are gone. And we see people on their, on their high horse reaching for a brass ring that's always just out of reach, and as it gets close, the horse goes down. The band has been replaced by a calliope that makes entrance of the gladiators sound like pop goes the weasel and no <laughs> one seems to mind. And when it's all over, we are right back where we started. And sometimes, sometimes, especially when you come to this festival, we dream. Sometimes we dream big. And I was up on crow's nest last night till about sunrise so this morning when i was dreaming big i rolled over and mashed the snooze button saying i must keep the dream alive but in the dream there was traffic lots of traffic and on the other side of the road there was this chicken taunting me <laughs> saying who are you to question my motives <laughs> And I started to cross the road, wondering if I was as indecisive as I used to be. <laughs> and I shouted back at the chicken, just because I changed my mind doesn't mean I'm not still right. But the chicken taunted back. He said, to answer your question, it was the rooster that came first. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason that I did not cross the road is because I wanted to go down it. Going down the road, feeling bad with a rubber chicken hanging from my rear view. I don't know about you, but I'd rather hang with people who are looking for answers rather than people who have found them. Amen. And whether or not I have found any answers, I can't remember. My friends, I've been coming here over 30 years, and at this age, having a bad memory is the only thing that gives me a clear conscience. <laughs> you know, sometimes my conscience bothers me. 
But my conscience is just another voice in my head. And just because I know the voices in my head aren't real doesn't mean I shouldn't listen to them. I mean, I listen to the news and I'm pretty sure that's not real. <laughs> I think the only way to find an answer is to count the stars. And when you count the stars, the universe becomes completely abstract. And God becomes this giant Jackson Pollock. And he's up there randomly throwing paint, randomly spilling paint, drawing tight lines that point to an arrow that points to a truth. And that truth can be boiled down to something very simple that we all know. Would you like to know a truth, my friends? Yes. The power of good is greater than the power of evil. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. I'm going to say it again. Amen. The power of good is greater than the power of evil. Amen. Amen. Just not by very much. <laughs> but the future can be predicted, my friends, because what's ahead of us after this festival will depend solely upon what is inside. Thank, Thank you, you, I'm sir. Chris Chandler. Thank you for <laughs> Chris Chandler, lifeblood of Ballad Tree. <laughs> love you, boy. Oh, I love you. Gerald, Jim McClure's next, and then David Haken. <laughs> and then Janice. <laughs>